Now, as we have already seen the filtering and projection, so if I want to sort my output in a particular order, then I will go for the sorting operators. So basically, these sorting operators will help us out in sorting the data either on the column on the basis of one field or on the basis of multiple fields. It also provides the concept of uh, sorting the data in ascending by default and in descending order. So here we will cover the operators that is such as order by which will do the sorting in ascending order by default. Similarly, order by descending which will do it in the descending order. Then by which will get this another column if you want to sort the data on the basis of multiple fields or column then you can go for then by or then by descending. So let's have a practical implementation where we will cover these operators. Now in the same collection of employees I am going to use the order by operator for the sorting. So here you can see the order by is used just after the from, from emp in employees and right after that order by emp.dptid. By default when you will pass any particular field it will be sorted in ascending order but even if you want you can just say ascending as a keyword. Then if you want to make it descending you can simply say descending as a keyword alright. So now what you can see here I have given the multiple columns if I will not pass the another one like EMP salary let's remove it for a time being. So here I am just sorting the data on the basis of the department ID in ascending order. So when I will execute this I will get the records of all the employees which will be sorted with the aspect of department ID. Now right after this if I want to sort the data in multiple column basis then as we did earlier so emp dot salary so as I said by default multi columns uh, sorting will be done on the basis of uh, ascending order itself but here if I want to make it in descending order I have to pass the descending because by default only ascending order sorting will be done so again since department ID is the first column it, the main data sorting will be done on the basis of department ID but in for all the departments where department value is same the salary will be here in the descending order like 51, 50, 30. Then on department 20 there are a couple of records first is 52 then 48 similarly here 30 it's 38,000 and 35,000 and then 40. Alright, so this is how you can do the sorting on the basis of multiple columns and obviously you can add more columns out here after this if required. If you want to write this particular query on the basis of a lambda expression syntax then you can do that as well. So like employees dot order by that will do the sorting by default in ascending order or order by descending if you want to make the sorting on the descending order. So order by then after you will have to pass the uh, type like EMP the field name on which you want to sort first I want to sort it on the basis of department ID dot then by and here you can sort it by salary so then by descending I will choose which will sort the second column on the descending order basis so EMP dot salary Alright, so this is how you can sort the particular table or particular collection in the ascending or descending order on the basis of multiple fields. So let's execute that and you can get the same output. If you don't want to retrieve all the columns then in that case you can simply add the select keyword right after this. So like emp goes to new emp dot name or whatever columns you want to get so now when I execute this I'll only get the name means all the required fields I can retrieve in this particular manner so this is how you can start working with the sorting operators using order by then and order by descending then by descending